Jaguars legend, legend David Garrard. So David was an All-American in high school, played college football at East Carolina, was drafted into the NFL, played over 10 NFL seasons in the NFL, nine of which were on that field that you were just on. So he has some very important input, wants to share his story with you. So let's give David Garrard a big round of applause. Appreciate that. Is everybody excited to be out here today? One more time. Is everybody excited to be out here today? All right. By a show of hands, how many know what the phrase carpe diem means? Nobody, which I wouldn't have known in high school either. Carpe diem means seize the day. That means take every day and make sure you give your all every day, all day long. And that's not just on the football field, it's in the classroom, it's at home. That means putting in work. I mean, you guys know that. If you're a quarterback, you put in work. And you have to, because you see how many quarterbacks are just here in this building that want to be quarterbacks or are going to be quarterbacks or five-star quarterbacks or whatever it is. This same look is all over the country. So that means you gotta compete with thousands of other quarterbacks just to make it to one college. And how many quarterbacks are on the field? Just one quarterback. Only one, we're the only position where it's just us. I mean, you can count kickers and punters and all that, but we're not counting that. So, season the day means you got an opportunity on this field to show your work, to show what you can do, to show that my number one thing is to be able to bounce back from a bad play. Because you're all gonna have a bad play, you're gonna have a bad throw, the ball's gonna come out wrong, it's not gonna do exactly what you wanted to do, but you get another opportunity. As long as you have another opportunity, you gotta make sure you give it your all. And that's a game, a play, a drive, whatever it is. You can't get down on yourself because you guys know who's watching you on your team if the quarterback is down. Who else is watching you? The whole team, the fans, everybody is always looking at the quarterback, which is why it is the best position in the world. There's no other position like playing quarterback. I don't care what sport it is. You are always being watched your teammates are always watching you. So that means you always got to stay even kill. If there's one thing I learned playing this position is staying even. You can get excited, you score a touchdown, you threw a 75 yard bomb, that's amazing. But can you stay right here? You just threw a pick six, which was almost the last drive of the game. Now you gotta go down and win the game that you were just winning, but who threw the pick six? Not the receiver, not the O-line, it's the quarterback. So can you stay right here after throwing a pick six? All these things are important in life, which is why playing quarterback gets you prepared for life. There's no tougher thing than being in front of 80,000 people cheering for you, or if you're on the road, 80,000 booing you like crazy. So if you can handle those situations, if you can handle just being in high school and being praised, getting a pat on the back, which is sometimes the hardest thing ever to get a pat on the back. That's why we always gotta stay here. Whether it's a pat on the back or a kick in the butt, you gotta be able to maintain, and that's with your parents. I mean, I'm a parent now. You guys will be my age one day. I know it seems like it's a long ways into the future. It is not, because I remember sitting in the same spot you guys were, listening to some old guy talk to me. But I'm telling you guys, it goes fast, which is why I go back to Carpe Diem, seize the day. You gotta make sure every day when you have an opportunity to step on this field, to get good grades, to study for a test, whatever it is. I made sure 
that whatever it took for me to stay on this field, to keep playing football, that's all that matters. So if it meant being a great person in the community, that's what I'm gonna do. If it means listening to my parents tell me to clean this up and go do this, go do that, then I'm gonna do it. As long as I get to keep coming out here and competing, that's what it was all about for me. And making it to the NFL from college, when I first arrived to East Carolina University, I thought, wow, this is amazing. Our first game against Virginia Tech. And I'm gonna just tell you guys, I broke the huddle, walked up on my first offensive line, and the defense was lined up, and I thought, wow, I'm playing Virginia Tech. Let's roll. So when that opportunity presents itself, make sure you're ready to seize it. Today, it's presenting itself right now. So make sure you give it your all and have fun. You gotta have fun. You make a bad throw, whatever it is, move on from it. Forget it. Goldfish has a memory of three seconds. So we tell our kids all the time when we're playing sports, be a goldfish. Forget the last play, move on. Because your team's gonna need you on the next play. If you're still in the past, worried about the past, you'll never be ready for the future. All right? You guys have fun today? Appreciate that. Hey, on three, give me a Duval. One, two, three. Yeah.